when Salt Lake City and South Salt Lake first uh, got together to think about putting this S-Line Greenway project together, there were a handful of really important goals and objectives that they had. Uh, of course, moving people back and forth between Sugar House and the tracks line is important, but even more important than that is creating uh, a place that is, is usable for lots of different modes of transportation and uh, to catalyze new development in the area. This rail line had been abandoned for a number of years and there are a lot of opportunities for development uh, at many of the nodes on, in the cross streets. So as you look around uh, the S line now, you see not only people using the streetcar, but you see bicyclists, walkers and hikers uh, moving back and forth east to west on the Parley's Trail, which was part of the Greenway project. But you also see a new development, private development, many of the cross street nodes uh, here in Sugar House up the street. Uh, a couple of very large developments that are right up along Highland Drive. And as you move to the west, a uh, number of different size projects from a handful of, of townhomes to individual single family homes, uh, all the way up to uh, large multifamily projects. So uh, I, I think the vision has been realized uh, as a very active corridor, uh, lots of public use and uh, a great place to be. This was initially thought about as a, a linear park, but with such a narrow corridor that has an active train in it, we can actually have people uh, tossing a ball or, or tossing a frisbee to a dog. It really has to be used safely. And so the vegetation was uh, conceived to fill a couple of purposes. One, it provides protection between people using the Greenway and the Parley's Trail from the active train. And it also serves to remind people of the ecosystem that we live in. Uh, we chose vegetation that will grow here in this environment. Uh, hopefully that will thrive without too much additional water. And as you move from one end of the Greenway to another, uh, the vegetation actually changes uh, to represent different uh, mi microclimates within our ecosystem from areas up in the mountains to areas down here in the valley. We're really pleased at how well the project has held up over time. Uh, such a public space with so many users, you have uh, the potential for uh, vandalism, for uh, components to break down over time. Uh, but we've seen really the project has been well maintained. Uh, it's held up well to the elements and to the users and we're pleased that it will uh, hopefully continue to look this way for many years into the future.